Hey, what's up everybody? Joe here, creator of the 90 Day Dad Bod Destruction Blueprint. Today I wanna to talk to you and share my thoughts on the difference between motivation and inspiration. Now I'm a huge proponent and advocate of motivation, whether that's intrinsic, internal, internal motivating factors, or external, uh, extrinsic, uh, circumstantial, or environmental motivating factors. So I, I tell you, I, I like to put up motivational quotes that uh, kind of hit home and kind of get me going. Um, but I want to talk about the difference between motivation, which is a little bit on the common side, um, compared to inspiration, which sometimes they can go hand in hand, but I want to differentiate between the two. So first, to, to know the difference between the two, I want to give you a brief little um, definition of the two as I understand them to help me differentiate between the two. So motivation is something that is a little bit short term, very short lived. Um, it gets you excited to do something. It gets you ramped up and ready to go. You, maybe you saw a, uh, a motivational video, a workout video, or you watched a, a very uplifting um, movie and it got you fired up, whether it was a sports uh, underdog win or it was a um, somebody doing the impossible or whatever the case may be that's that something that kind of kind of gets you going and gets you ramped up the downside to motivation is that it's very short-lived so if you don't strike the iron while it's hot it'll just fade out it'll just burn out and maybe that's maybe that's a couple days um, I've had times where it keeps me excited for a week or two but eventually it's going to burn out and fizz out and fade out that urge or that sense of hey I got to do something now will will drop or decline now that's motivation now, inspiration is something that is a little bit longer term. It has a little bit more, like a, like a deeper meaning. Um, it takes, typically takes hold of us um, internally and it, uh, it resonates a little bit deeper emotionally with us. It resides inside of, inside of us and it, it makes us a little bit more long-term committed um, to stay a course and stay working at that goal. So those are gonna be the two the two differences, I'm sorry, the differences between the two. So today I wanna to go through inspiration and the five sources of inspiration that, that I have kind of learned uh, and it kind of makes sense to me. The first one, the first source of inspiration as I have learned it to be is making the decision. Pure and simple, once you decide to do something, it all of a sudden becomes real. Now, whether that is you saying it to yourself out loud, whether it's you writing it down like an I am going to do, um, or if you tell somebody, the first thing you have to do is make a decision. Once you make that decision to do whatever it is, all of a sudden it becomes real. Now all of a sudden there's a little bit of an accountability to yourself or to others depending on what it is. So number one source of inspiration is going to be making a decision. Number two, once you make that decision or decide to do this, that, or the other, the next source of inspiration is going to be planning. Make a plan. I am going to lose weight. Okay, how are you going to lose weight? I need to do X, Y, and Z. Now I've used this example before. I live on the East Coast, I want to go to the West Coast. It doesn't matter what you do, you made that decision to go to the West Coast. Start heading West, okay? And as you start heading West, make that plan. I'm going to continue to head West. If you don't make a plan and you're driving around willy-nilly and you're heading North, nothing's going to happen. You're not gonna get out to the West, okay? So make a plan, be specific with that plan. But that plan has to be congruent with your decision, with that goal or whatever it is you're doing. Make sense on that one? Number three is going to be action. Nothing is going to happen. You are not going to achieve, obtain anything if you don't take action. You wanna get in shape, but you don't work out or eat right? It ain't gonna happen. You ain't gonna get in shape. You're not gonna lose weight. You're not gonna gain weight. You're not going to get that body that you want. You're not gonna be able to run that marathon or half marathon, okay? So you must take action. 
you must take massive action. And when you do that action, the sense of accomplishment, even though you haven't, you maybe haven't achieved your goal yet, the sense of doing something and that fulfillment and that gratification of, man, I've, I've been working at this for a little bit, that is inspirational, that, that, that ignites a little bit of a fire, a little bit, I can do this, I'm gonna do this, and keep working forward. So number three source of inspiration is going to be to take action. Number four, now this one is going to be um, the most impactful. This one is also going to be repetitive depending on what you're deciding to do. This is progress. So let's go back to the working out goal. You've decided to make uh, a change. You've decided to start working out. You've decided to start eating right. You've decided to take care of yourself. The plan, I'm going to work out at the gym X, Y, Z times a week. I'm going to eat X, Y, Z food per week, blah, blah, blah. That's your plan. The third one, actually doing it, okay? Because planning on paper doesn't get it done. You actually have to do it. Now, let's fast forward here to that progress, that number four source of inspiration. You're working, you're working, you're working, you're taking action, you're taking action, you're taking action, boom! You lost your first pound. Even if it's only one pound, if you've been there before, you know how rewarding, how inspiring that is to see the scale move or to see the, to feel the pants fit differently or to fit in that dress or that jacket that you couldn't before. That progress is inspiring. That is enough to throw gasoline on the fire and ignite that excitement again. Now you're back to that action. Gotta work, gotta work, gotta work, gotta work. Boom! You hit that second pound. And again, even though it's only one pound, you're doing it. What you planned and what you're um, acting upon and what you decided to do, all of that is working. That's exciting, that's fulfilling right there. So that fourth one, that's a big one, that's your progress. And that can happen over and over and over again. Okay, that's number four. Now number five is going to be the big one. This is gonna be the end result uh, but it doesn't mean you can't start over and go back to the back to the beginning and decide to do something bigger, better, or different. Number five, the source of inspiration that I've noticed to be the, the pinnacle of it is going to be achievement. When you achieve that goal, when you finally hit your mark, the inspiration, the fulfillment, the satisfaction, that long-term gratification that you get from that is... You know, well, it's inspirational, but it's, it's empowering. It's, holy crap, what else can I do? Okay, so number five, achievement. That's gonna be my five sources of inspiration that I have come to implement and kind of find. Now, it may vary from person to person, and it may, may vary from uh, goal um, or reason for doing something. That, that all might vary, but over the years, what I have found First, you must make a decision to do something, okay? You must plan, how are you going to do that something? Number three, the big one, there's no way around it. You have to take action. Nothing's gonna happen if you don't take action. Action. Number four, might be multiple times you hit this one, you might stay in this, this, this phase, if you will, for a while, progress. Hit that goal, hit that goal, hit that goal, hit that goal, hit that goal. Okay, and keep moving forward. But number five is not necessarily hitting that goal, those little micro goals, that's the big one. You hit that end result and you've done or completed what you've decided to do at the very, very beginning. Hope that helps, hope that makes sense. You guys, if you got questions, feel free, comment below. Tag somebody or make sure to share this. Have a great day, talk to you soon.